how does sighing help you become a better coach, NLP practitioner, and a better human being? <laughs> um, all right, first a little bit of sciency stuff about sighing. Sighing is sort of like an uncontrolled thing that we do, mostly, uh, but we also do it for emotional reasons. So let me get into that. So uh, we sigh about 12 times an hour, so every five minutes. And we need to sigh in order to reduce the, the carbon dioxide inside the body. We need to get oxygen inside the body at the same time. So that's a biological reason as to why we sigh, okay? And so sometimes we need to have more release than our normal breathing, and that's why. Um, the second reason why we sigh is actually emotional. And you could even see it as a, a form of expressing an emotion. So, so, there's, so there's that. It's, you could see it as a form of communication even. So, but not all our uh, sighs are emotional. So it's important that, that it has a biological function predominantly. So <clears throat> our lungs are built out of tiny little sacs that inflate and deflate. And, and there are actually many of them. If we would lay them out on the floor, it would be as big as a tennis court. And so the physiological sigh that I want to teach you, I actually learned from a scientist called Dr. Andrew Huberman. A lot of you probably know him because he's gotten hugely uh, popular. His podcast is amazing. The kind of teaching that he does is amazing out there. So I definitely would check him out. I will put some links below as well to that. And the physiological side is, I feel, in many ways useful in what you do as a coach or as an NLP practitioner, as a human being. So I will go after this teaching you how to do this physiological side but also I will teach you where and how you can use it in the moment for yourself, but also in terms of your coaching designs, your NLP work and stuff like that. So I wanna get into that. So the, cycle, the, the physiological sigh is you inhale, and then you, at the end of your inhale, you do a shorter extra inhale. So that would, that would sound like this. Yeah? And then you exhale and you make sure that the exhale is even longer than the uh, than the, the combined two inhales it allows you to also uh, if your exhale is longer than your inhale you may have noticed that when you do that even without the double inhale is that your heart rate lowers so now what does the double inhale do it allows you to actually um, deflate the sacs more and release more carbon dioxide and to, and to just kind of flood the brain with the oxygen that it needs. So, so that is the physiological side. And you only need to do that one or two times, maybe three times, to in the moment quickly drop feelings of stress and anxiety. So that's brilliant. So you could use that on yourself if you need it. If you feel a sense of anxiety or stress coming up, you can use this physiological sigh in that moment so to, to reduce it. And I, I actually, for a good year or so, I've been doing that at work especially. So instead of becoming super reactive sometimes based on stress or whatever, I know that this is a quick, quick way to get out of that. But I also started to incorporate this way of sighing and the leveraging the, the brain to sort of quickly being able to calm and what you could say reset itself in NLP, we may, we may even call it a pattern interrupt, is that it allows you to quickly leverage sort of like switching from that negative emotion to a positive emotion, which then allows in any coaching intervention technique that you create, and I definitely, you know, I teach my coaching students, my NLP students, how to design techniques, NLP techniques, so that they can work with any presenting problem. So we don't have to shop around for what I like to call fast food NLP, but my, my students also can work with limiting beliefs and grief and guilt and significant emotional events in the past. 
Uh, if you're interested, by the way, in some free products, check out below uh, with NLP visualizations, both on audio as well as a book that I've written. Um, and, and if you want to check out the NLP trainings live or online, then I will also add some resources as well to that. And our live trainings are here on Bali and um, Los Angeles, Mexico, Amsterdam, sometimes Miami. So definitely check that out. So in your designs, knowing that you can quickly allow your clients or yourself to reset the brain, that allows almost any intervention or design of technique that you do after that um, to actually be more beneficial, right? So think about it. If I need to step into somebody else's shoes because I'm angry, then actually doing the physiological sigh first and then stepping into somebody else's shoes is much more effective. If I do the physiological sigh and then step into a powerful, positive emotional state using NLP or coaching, that's more beneficial. If I want to place my brain into the ideal coding of reaching goals, how much better can I do that to go from demotivation to sort of like reduce the stress and overwhelm inside the brain to then do that? You know, you get the idea. Uh, you can anchor the physiological side, which is an NLP terms for creating an intentional stimulus response that when you condition your body to every day relax based on this physiological side as an activity, as breath work activity that you do every single day, that you, you start to realize that you can use this physiological side not just as a release of pressure in a moment, but you can also release it as a, a when I do this, then I tell my brain that it needs to cal calm down. And you've trained that every single day to do. These are wonderful solutions for things like anxiety and overwhelm and even anger and other, other types of things that come with stress. So you get the idea that just these one, two, or maximum three breaths can go a long way in, in coaching, which is why I really recommend that you start using it as part of your designs, as part of your own trick. Because the beautiful thing is it doesn't require you to, uh, to step out. So that's how you can use sighing to become a better coach and be practitioner and a better person, human, all around.